So I'm not rushing, spaced out swag, best believe I'm paper touching Super stupid flow, and you bitches can't tell them nothing UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding All I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding All I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand me Got a sense for drama, so I always keep the cannon This is the invasion, so watch out for our landing Standing Tall, never too far Spring and summer fashion, bro, I get it in the fall Y'all about to start hating and I don't mind at all I'm a thriller like MJ and my flow is off the wall Who they? Who they? They're not from around It's gotta be my imagination I think it's in their face I think it's in their face I think it's in their face They're not from around here This 
is my introduction They say greatness doesn't come overnight So I'm not rushing Spaced out swag Best believe I'm paper touching Super stupid flow And you bitches can't tell them nothing UFO Uniquely flying outstanding All I speak is cash I see why you don't understand UFO Uniquely flying outstanding All I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand me Got a sense for drama, so I always keep the cannon This is the invasion, so watch out for our landing Standing tall, never too far Spring and summer fashion, bro, I get it in the fall Y'all look right. And we live, baby Welcome to the mothership, how you doing? It's the Who That Podcast, the loudest podcast this side of Mississippi and the Nile River. How you doing? I am B. We made it another week. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you for joining in with us. Like always, we got the captain. What's up, what's up? Paco. How's your week, man? Man, week has been pretty good, man. Yeah. Week has been pretty good. It's my mom's birthday. Shout out, mom. Love you. Yeah. How you doing? Hi, okay. yeah. Frog legs. Matt Lock. <laughs> <laughs> If you know, you know. So and now you know. <laughs> and uh, this week we have a, a special guest that has already blessed us with gifts like this cool ass shirt. And if you were here three and a half minutes ago, you would have seen me demolishing some chicken wings. They're delicious. But we have Eminem Plus Catering. And uh, I do want to say productions. They do movies. I just found out. But we have Martin and Maria. They have joined us on the spaceship. And we are live. Welcome to the mothership. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So I've known Maria for a little bit. We work together, and uh, I've seen the growth and everything through their company. And it was just time to have them on so they could kind of tell. It's a gym here in our local town. They're, they're everywhere. They're nationwide. So make sure you look up their food. Make sure you look up their services. And stuff. I've seen them make cakes, anything, anything you need from weddings to events. But the big thing that I want to talk about today is they do cater. What well, would you consider that catering, or is it still considered catering it is, on the set? It's on-set catering. Okay, they do on-set catering for films and for TV shows and series and stuff like that. And that's amazing. I that's one of those jobs that you don't even, you you don't even think about. But it's the but it's there. You yes. know what I mean? Like, oh yes. yeah. You know what I mean? I can get a contract catering for movie sets. For movie sets. Yes. What? What? Yes. Yes. When he told me about it, I said, like, genius. Yeah, genius. Genius. So, how did that come about? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Martin worked for a company called Tomcats for a few years. Okay. Um, he was on the road for a long time. And then that company was going to uh, sell off some equipment and okay. start to stop catering. So they offered us an opportunity to buy um, a, a kit, a whole kit, to be able to do this our, on our own. And okay. I was like, what? We can't do this? <laughs> so when you say a kit, is that like the truck? Or is we that... have um, two kitchens. Okay. We have a, um, a two box. Mobile kitchens. Two mobile kitchens. Okay. So they're these mobile kitchens are for you know we can cook anything on there. He right. has ovens, prep area, walk-in um, cooler, right. sinks, anything that you need right. to wow. be able to cook in a very remote area. Okay. Wow. Yeah. In the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Right. right. In space. In <laughs> space. Yeah. They're they're um. That's they can be kid. ran by um, generators. Okay. Anywhere he needs to. We have another um, truck that we carry all our dry goods. Mm -hmm. Anything you can imagine from dressings, from straws, straws, anything, cups, yeah, plates, yeah, everything, yeah, anything, yeah. anything you can imagine. And then we have a, cups, yeah. another van. So we have a total of four vehicles that we use wow, to run our wow. business. Wow, a caravan. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, a convoy on the street. Yeah. So when you were with the first company, I think you guys were you having Walking Dead then? or Yeah. Yeah. Season one, three, and four. Wow. Then uh, change up, Thirty Rock. Wow. Uh, what to expect when expecting. Mm. The help. Uh, the Three Stooges. Super uh, eight. Super eight. Super eight. Uh, the loving. Mercy Street. Turn. Shop and turn. Yeah. Blue Bloods. Oh wow. Uh, Madam Secretary. Oh. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. That is. So, how does? I mean, how does this come into fruition? Like, do you do you shop these online? Do you wait till wait, they contact you? Okay. okay. All right. So you, you get the kit. So the, per the people that you're working with, they're about to stop doing it. They offer you the, uh, the chance to get a kit. You be like, all right, get a kit. You do that. So how much time in between? We're doing this now on our own till we can get contracts on the movie sets doing this and really start bringing it in. Like, well, how much time did pass before you? Like, did y'all try to just, you know, do the regular go out to events, sim festival type thing for a while? Or? That's funny you say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a process. Okay. So we expected to, bam, we're going to run with this and it's going to be immediate. It wasn't. Right. You know, it was, right. here's a new company. People don't know us. They don't know what we can do. I mean, they knew him, but they didn't know about, right. you know, mm -hmm. now on his own. Mm -hmm. So we, he had this bright idea that we were going to do a food truck. In the meantime, right. while our business built, and um, out that. of all the events, he chose um, Taco Fest in Nashville. Okay. Couldn't start out small, right? You know, here so we are. Taco Fest is large. I've never been. Yeah, large. Okay. Yeah, okay. we were about, we were one out of twenty five food trucks. Okay. Over mm. five thousand people. Mm. So you know, was, go so big or go long. home. Yeah. You know, a full That's weekend. What I'm talking about. We had never done an event. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, man. I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> And we did it, and we survived, and all our friends helped us. All our family and friends chipped in, and they wow. helped us do this. And I don't know how we did it, but we got through it. It was a whole weekend event. I, I, mean, I bet you learned a lot. Yeah. We did. Yeah. We have did. Have a, a video on our website where uh, they're What's talking the about website? it. Eminem Plus Catering. Eminem Plus Catering dot com. Dot org. Dot org. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, so we did that, and then wow. from there, um, you know, we did commercials, photo shoots, small things were for, coming uh, along. Nissan, yeah, and Toyota, and oh, Mercedes, and different Mercedes. little things, wow. Dollar General, all these little things we were doing. But in the meantime, you know, we had bills, we had stuff that needed to be paid, so we mm -hmm. we did a food truck. Wow, and that's how a lot of people around here know us. So we did different divisions. We had a movie division that we still did. Um, you know, little movies for Lifetime, right. Hallmark, all these little stuff here in town. Mm -hmm. um, and we had a food truck division, and then we had a wedding catering division, and we had a custom cake division. Right. So we did all these other little things to, you know, until we got bigger and bigger. And now five years later, we're working with Disney, and we're working with Hulu. Nice. And, we're with <laughs> and we're working with Apple, and uh, yeah, he's been in D.C., yeah. He he got just got done working on American Crime Stories. Right. Show him, oh, him the show. He worked what? at Dope Sick. Dope he Sick coming Dope out. Sick. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes Support yes, us yes. on Dope Sick. Right. <laughs> Friends, right. Watch Hulu. <laughs> um, yes. So, yeah, and we, I, actually about a month ago, I did a custom wedding cake for uh, a lifetime movie with Reba. Oh, nice. McIntyre? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, they don't know. I'm not yeah. so, carry on the mothership. I can um, yeah. ooh, ooh, I'm gonna yeah. tell you my so, <laughs> We worked on um Welcome Home Christmas, mm -hmm. um, every other holiday. Um we've right. done quite a few So would you yeah. say so cool mm -hmm. that this is the dream? Is this your your guys' dream or is there another step? Because simply you have an empire. Already. I would say you know, this, we are building our dream. Okay. All right, I, still, I would say so. Still going. Say? Yeah. I, I need more divisions. It's like the movie custom cakes, then regular catering, then full trucks. They're going to stop at the White House. Yeah. Go, yeah. <laughs> we're catering. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we actually, <laughs> actually we're he worked in D.C. and he was just on the block from the White House. Oh, wow. So wow. he worked at right. the... Um, Fort, Fort Center, wait, Kennedy Center. Kennedy oh, Center. Wow. At the Kennedy Center for a week. Right. The, hell? Right the White House, the Kennedy Center honors Kennedy Center? Yeah. My man. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, so what year was it when when the company, when the first company was about to shut down and you got the kit? What year was it? Um, it was five years ago, so 2017. <laughs> okay. Five years. They say five years when you when you own your own business, you should know if it, you know what I mean, if it's going to be successful in five years. So, hey. Five hey. years ago, yeah. That's impressive, brother. We that's, went from our right family there. and friends running the business nice. to he has a crew of 10 people. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. you've got a crew of 10 people. What are the qualifications to be a part of uh, m, m Plus Catering? Like, what do I need? Can I come off the street and be a part of that? Or Intensive training. 
Yeah. Intensive. Intensive. Yeah. Yeah. You wake up, go to sleep. When everybody's up, when you're asleep. You, you gotta know. love cooking. You gotta. You gotta have. Yeah. So what are some of like maybe the differences? You gotta be able to take some hot fingers. You gotta be able to grab that pan. You have to be able to grab that pan because they <laughs> work be fifteen to it. twenty hour. Like, ice cream. Right. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the what's the difference the weekend. between we working in the a traditional restaurant <laughs> versus working in in uh, like on set catering to these people? In a kitchen, you have everything you need. Right. In a restaurant. And there are remote locations. They could be out in a field somewhere. You don't have running water. You don't have power. Mm -hmm. um, you, they can come no to you. No phone service. No phone service. Yeah. So they have to have enough water with them. You know, right. five gallon so, jugs to be able to do whatever they need. 25 five gallon jugs in a day. If we make pasta, we'll use, we'll have three left. Oh, wow. They have to have propane so for boiling for water. This. Yeah. We'll have boiling for starching stuff. Uh, Man. Boiling yeah. stuff. You gotta bring all your supplies with you. No yeah. air conditioning. Um, no right. heat. No air conditioning. No, because they're on these mobile right. kitchens that, right. uh, you know, you don't have air conditioning. That's when I tap out. I'm sorry. And, so, and winter, <laughs> winter, we have the kitchen and it's nice and warm. You're like, ah. Oh, yeah, they start at they can start as early as two a.m. Right, and finish as late as nine ten p.m. Right, and have to be ready the next day to be on the road. Oh, wow. smiling faces. Yeah. Smiling faces. <laughs> wow. So with that, I'm sure it comes a preference list for certain individuals working in the show. I'm sure they've got some people who are vegan and, yes. and you know, peanut allergies and so you encounter a lot of that I'm sure also. A lot of gluten free, a lot of um a lot everything. Of right. That's what I was yeah. thinking. A lot of gluten free. Dairy free. Right. So, so not only do you are you in a mobile kitchen, but you have to have enough food to to be able to accommodate for all this. Right. And we have diet water too. Diet water? Diet water. What is diet water? It's not all water diet. It's all water diet. <laughs> what is diet? Water? What are you taking out of water? <laughs> My whole brain was about to shut down. Right. I was like, that's some celebrity stuff. We one day we gonna have diet water. We're diet water. Right. We still gotta go in my kitchen to get the fridge. One day we'll have a fridge in that studio. Diet water. <laughs> As on the dispense, it's ice and diet water on the, on the door. Right. Diet water. Diet water. <laughs> and I'm looking for investors right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming to you live from the mothership. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. The diet water premiere. Diet water. <laughs> so, what would you say? Which show would you say was probably the most uh, lucrative? Or fun? No, demanding. Like the uh, biggest cast, the, the most demanding. Yeah, Mary J. Black was pretty good. Did you say Mary J. Black? Mary J. Black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think The Walking Dead. Like they got well, maybe because they got all the zombies. zombies. That's yeah. what I was thinking. I'm like, it's a bunch of extras hungry and stuff. Yeah. Mary J. Black. Yeah. Well, well Black. they weren't looking for brains. They were looking for food. <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> so how many people was with Mary J. Black? Was this like on a concert type thing? No, it was here, local in Springfield. It was shot in Springfield. Oh. Mm -hmm. With uh, Spider Man. What's his name? Toby McGuire. Toby McGuire. Mm. He was one of the producers. Mm. So this was a show? Mm -hmm. Oh. It was she a movie. It's a lifetime. She does have, yes, yes. A mom. Shout out to my mom. Happy birthday. <laughs> yes. He was just telling me that she, she has it though. It's already out. Yes, it's out. Yeah, it came okay. out last Christmas. Okay, yeah. Mom, yeah, mom got it at the house. All yeah. right. All right. Yes. Wow. Yes. So oh, you were wow. there. So how many people would like, what was the demand on that one? What was just. You know, Crazy hours. Just, no, just have everything, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gotta have every Yeah. You know. Everybody gotta have yeah. everything's gotta be ready. And yeah. organized. The Anything they can possibly ask for. I can for. only imagine. So when you uh, you mentioned earlier uh, that you might have to be on the road, so you gotta follow the set as they He does. Like, he follows oh, the wow. set wherever they go. Mm -hmm. When I was on the other show, uh when we we're on uh the three studios the owner came to me and he was like, uh, what do you got there? And I was like, mama sauce. And he was like, what's mama sauce? 
I said, it's my mom's recipe. So he's like, can I try some? And I was like, yeah, sure. He tried it and he didn't say nothing. I, like, I guess he didn't like it. Mm. That's cool. And then when, when he was leaving, I was watching the kitchen and he comes to me and he's like, uh, it was very nice to meet you, Martin. You know, uh, uh, thank you very much. He's like, you should put out the sauce and see what happens. And I was like, really? He said, yeah, see what happens. See what they say. So I put it out and people were like, what is this? I was like, mama sauce. No, what is this? Uh, mama sauce. No, you didn't hear me. What is this? <laughs> and I was like, it's mama sauce. Right, it's mama right. sauce. Yeah, hold the secret. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. them people, they got money to, to go ahead and produce yeah, mama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is it? It's mama sauce. It's mama sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and everywhere I go and, and put it out, and everywhere we go, it's wow. Mm. Or they're like, mama, it's fresh? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I'll take some. <laughs> and I'll come back and they're like, oh my God. For real? Yeah. Oh my God. So, I need to try some mama sauce. Is that the next right, so. step then? Come out with mama sauce to put on the shelves? Possibly. Yeah. We've been Let talking about Hey, that. maybe we need to invest. We've been talking about they, that. Who that presents Martin Mama Sauce? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll shoot the commercial. We right. come with the package. What you want to do? Right, so, <laughs> what do you need to put mama sauce on? Anything. Ch chicken, steak. Burritos. Um, wings. Uh, I'm so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ribs. He just named the pork. Uh, so for the viewers, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, I want to yeah. try this mama sauce. So it's right. good, like with chips, like you just yeah, you yeah, chip. yeah. Chips. Oh, okay. Yeah, I make a uh, salsa, mm -hmm. and it's the base of the salsa. Mm. I mix it, and it's like it's like firecracker going in my oh wow, nice nice i like that so i, I think it's uh, got good smoky spicy taste mm. i think i came to one of y'all's event one time and tasted it might have been a wedding y'all had a venue was that a wedding or? yes yeah and uh it had some good sangria too i made but, some sangria i yeah, made yeah. some sangria yeah, yeah, i like sangria, sangria. Was good is this is sangria mama sangria? No. No. <laughs> yeah, like, we can get into branding right now. Who's <laughs> branding? Branding. <laughs> so with with all of this and everything, what do you what do you guys have planned for what's your what's your next event? What's your next the next step? We go to Disneyland. Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> He's headed to Virginia to work on another show. I can't disclose the name yet. Oh, that's okay. He, he is um, headed to Virginia to work for Apple. Nice. Wow. Nice. Want to show all oh, over the Apple TV. Yeah, yeah. Apple yeah. TV. Yeah. I think they got yeah. decent shows on. Yep. Yeah. 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 They, they got nominated for, for a few things. Right. I haven't checked it out yet. I need to. I got something to say. I just haven't got to it yet. Okay. I'm still trying to work my, work my way through Mr. Robot. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Robot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What, what did you say your favorite? Your favorite uh, group to work with? What's the most. Uh, The, the, teamsters, the Teamsters are great in Virginia. They're awesome. They're great here in, t in Tennessee, too. But big shout out to the Teamsters. Yeah. You take the bag. Shout out to the Teamsters. Yeah. We need the union. All right. Yeah. Yes. yes. We have a good group. They they help yeah. them a lot. They they need some stairs for their kitchen. Bam, they got stairs. Right. You know, whatever they need. Steps. Anything that we need, they're, they're amazing. Right. That's what's up. They, we had them on the show during when they went through the strike. And it was real interesting. They wanted to come on and kind of explain that this isn't just about money. Yeah. So, and it was one of our best turnouts. We went out on the front lines with them and we went live right there yeah, on the picking line. We yeah. put out a table in front of the picking line. Like yeah, the, it was good. The backdrop was people with signs. Yeah, <laughs> it was a good time. We, uh, when a gym went on strike, we, uh, we catered for them. We, we fed them on the line. Yeah. We brought out our truck and but that's what's up. All right. And then we also we, fed the We hospital. give back to the community. We do. Yeah. We fed um, with the help of our community, which the community donated a lot of money. Um, we fed 800 employees at Murray Regional oh, during wow. when the pandemic started. Thank you. Thank you for that. When you Thank give you. out to the community, they when you reach out, most of the time they reach back, you know. People remember those things. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's super important. 
Yeah, but not true. even for, they're not even for that. That's that's a great benefit if somebody remembers and comes back and you know that type of thing. But just doing it, yeah, it's just, just yeah, it's, at all, especially in that time to go out to the hospital and defeat them during the pandemic when um you weren't sure if you were putting your health at risk or anything. Right, you were thinking right. about them. I really appreciate that. But, uh, my, my second mom, um, my, my brother, uh, she works out at the hospital right now. So we have a daughter who works there. Yeah, so, so I'm sure she has some of y'all good food. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah I'm fly for yeah. <laughs> so we, we have a lot of people asking us when are we going to bring our food truck back to the area okay and we are in the process of looking to buy a food truck to keep here locally oh, because okay. i mean um the community is what built us right. had it not been for our community here we yeah. would not be where we're at yeah so a food truck from what i shot because i shot food trucks a little bit we're about what 50 to sixty thousand decked out right well Stop. It, it depends. Um, the style oh, that we use is about one hundred and twenty-five thousand. <coughs> yeah, like did, anywhere did from one hundred twenty-five to three hundred thousand. Cooler. I was like, oh, that's yeah. I haven't seen a walk-in. Did, you know? Have y'all seen the, that movie Chef? About yeah. the guy against the yeah. food truck. That was that's my knowledge. So when you said a walk-in cooler, I was like, oh, that wasn't in Chef. No, <laughs> <laughs> that was in Chef. Wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> one of our mobile kitchens has a walk-in cooler, a prep area. Two ovens and a flat top and a burner and eight burners. Was it? Yeah, I knew. I was Fifty Marcy six said hi, by the way. And tell her hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <there you go. laughs> so, not only you know, do you guys have a, a thriving business and and stuff? You guys have a, a big family you take care of, and, and they take care of you guys. I mean, I met them, and I mean, it was it was a. I think the first time I met the whole family was Kinson, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was it was a big group, you know, and it's it it really touched me. My family isn't really close like they're in different areas of the United States, but um, how, how many how many kids? They were just one house. <laughs> <laughs> we have four girls. Four we girls. Have four girls. When um, and our company is named after you know Warren and Maria. Right. Plus which is our girls, our yeah. four girls, and our son-in-laws, and our family, and everybody who helps us. But we have four girls, Marcy, um, Victoria, Elizabeth, and Cassandra. No, all successful, all good. Man, you guys did a real good job. Thank you. Raising them. No, it sounds like you guys have just done a good job in life. Like the, I, I just, I'm loving the whole thing. Right. We have, we found well, each nobody's other. perfect, but. You know, <laughs> yeah. for, but for what we but can do, I mean, <laughs> yeah. You found each other, you like, all right, we got love, check. We got a family, check. Let's get in the business, check. Now we're going to take the business to another level. We might have mama sauce and stores and stuff like right. Man, man, y'all. That's our kid. Ooh, this is not 50, 60,000. <laughs> the cool truck. Truck. If you trying to get into the food truck industry, it's a whole different truck you're looking at than this one. This one right here. But yeah, it's, it's and I mean, the one with the, uh, no, we have another one. Oh, it's a big, big truck, like a big moving truck, like a two man in a truck. Yeah, truck. yeah, yeah. I so not not only just that, but being entrepreneurs, oh, yeah. and then we're all people of color here at the table. You know what I mean? Those are all obstacles that you guys have been able to overcome mm -hmm. and be successful, and then the set the path. Oh wow, that's a fleet. Yeah, that is. That is a fleet right there. <laughs> Not even including the, the main one she was just talking about. They, they got a, you, you do have a convoy coming into the movie set. <laughs> right, right. Like who's who's this guy? Like, that's, here. that's the food. I guess yeah, Darth Vader. So, um, but yeah, those just uh, overcoming all those obstacles and stuff. It tags off even. With us doing the show, we still have obstacles we have to overcome. You I didn't know what I mean? Know about for last week, we went to a podcast convention and the stuff. He been telling me like, no, we got to work because we got to do this, put on and do that type of stuff, and it's gonna be a little bit harder because we're coming from, you know, sci-fi world, spaceship and black. Like we got to really put on. So I was like, yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> We've been doing this for like what two years now. Yeah, two I'm years. like, yeah, okay. And then until last week, when I've met other people, I was like, and they. When we were telling what the show was about, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> when we were telling what the show was about, and the looks on their faces, when I finally looked down, like, oh, we are doing something a little. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, we gotta. Yeah, I went out there and got confirmation on a lot of stuff that we needed. You 
Yeah. When do you when do you feel like with your business that it was confirmation that this is this is what we need to be doing? The minute we got it, the look on his face. Yeah. The minute Christmas. we bought the kit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The minute we bought the kit and he said, "Can we do this?" and I was like, "Are you crazy?" We're gonna. I did say that. I said, no, "We don't said, know." I crazy. said, "We don't know anything about this." Right. And he said, but can we do it? That's, we're going to figure it out. Well, sometimes that's, that's what makes it. Because if you study too hard in an industry, you start mimicking what you study. But not knowing, that could have been the thing that, you know what I'm saying? Yes. That, yes. That put you guys, okay, we're going to do this. You know, and well, nobody else is doing that. And well, now you're off and running. Right. And if your relationship don't have this type of support, right. y'all need to talk about something. Right. We're like, can we do this? But we don't know nothing about it. But can we do it? Right. We'll figure it out. Yeah. That's 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 a good conversation. I think right. y'all standing in the kitchen just looking at each other like, hey, hey. Go ahead. We, right. had, dude, we got it. Yeah. We got the kid now. What we gonna do? Right. You do. Get proud right. up. I love I'm it. I'll tell you what. There's been a lot of tears, a lot of happiness, a lot of fights over this business. But yeah. we're we're getting anytime it. you work with the public. Yeah. And no, with each other. Oh, I know. I know that. <laughs> But it's, but it's, we're getting there. it's an outside, you know, it's whoo, 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 whoo. you're like, look, they need this now. Why? Because, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's, it could be working with the public can put stress on you guys. And, and many, you know, because you have somebody who has to be like, you got to watch the budget. You got to watch the budget. You can't overspend. And you have somebody who wants to just give the world. Right. And you're like, you can't. You can't just give the world, you know? Well, why not? not? Why not? It's the sky's the limit. Yeah, you got to yeah. have faith. <laughs> then I would think, like, for the, the, me, because I overthink and always be in my head, but if I was on a movie set cooking, like, every fourth person, I'd be like, is this the director? Is this the head of the movie? Is, yeah. this, is this the director? Is this? Yeah, that's a very important thing. Man, yeah. like, and I, I would never be sure, like, who's that guy? Anybody I saw in a collar shirt, I'm like, yeah, and they usually, make sure I whip this and they usually <laughs> don't come up on a collar shirt. No. Oh, see? No. See? No. It's very It's usually yeah. the last person you think would be it. Wow. See? You never know. Not They're like, do you know who I am? I'm like, oh, God, don't say it. <laughs> don't, don't say it. it. Don't say it. <laughs> who are you? Producer. Oh, my God. Yeah. Have some mama side. Espresso, cappuccino. But, um, I would like to say that our crew treats everybody the same. Oh, that's good stuff. They, and I, I don't think I ever get any complaint calls. Right. Awesome. Which, which is a good thing. Yes. It's it's an excellent thing. It makes you know yeah. running the business a lot easier. Much smoother. To know yeah, that the crew, is good. right? To know mm -hmm. that the crew that we help that we have is held accountable and they um we don't have to worry about it right they run it like if it's theirs they right. take a lot of pride in what they do nice. which is amazing because it gives Warren the opportunity to leave and come home if he has to or you know have a life where we know that our crew is going to take care of us okay that's beautiful we have an amazing crew. shout out to the eminem plus crew hope you guys are, are, are looking well, share please yes yeah is this your first time being interviewed no. No? Okay. Martin actually yeah. has been interviewed yeah. <laughs> before. His Make interview was right. actually... <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. this was in this place. Yeah, yeah he's a good sir. Um, he's been... He's actually has an interview online with Van Ham Productions, I believe okay. it is. And then we were also interviewed by the local radio station. Right. When, right. when we were working with um, Asgard. Okay. Awesome. So you work with As Asgard also? We, when we had our food truck... Um, we went there a lot. Mm -hmm. We were there at least two to three times a week. Yeah, I came down a couple times. Mm -hmm. You yeah. did? Yeah. So uh, I would I wouldn't even go and ask. I'd swing by, get the food, get back in the car. That's his interview, oh, that's online. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was when he was with The Walking Dead is when he got interviewed. Oh okay. god. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A couple of things. Oh, they look they uploaded this to a couple of spots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That's good. That's good. In five years, man. Yeah. That's that's blessings right there. Yeah. That's that shows that if you if you really step into something and give it your all, you know what I mean. It just at some point there's gonna be a breakthrough moment to where you you like you know what I got the I got my formula down I got my groove down all I gotta do is just keep this and play the music play yeah. some Spunky Roberts yeah hey, come on <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah it just that's great that's that's beautiful that's plus beautiful. my wife so understanding and willing to help me with anything. <laughs> <laughs> 
And you need to do it without her. You need that. Maria's tough. I've, I've worked with Maria. Yeah. Maria's she tough. She was a uh, captain on a drill team. She had shit make you jump, yeah. run, and hide. Yeah. Hey, somebody has to do it. Yeah. All right. So, I don't, y'all don't think she's sweet right here. No. She's tough. She's a lion. She's, she's a lion. But I, I've never felt. Go ahead, Maria. Lying. Lying. She's a lion. She's a lion. That is why we are where we're at. <laughs> you know, it, you know that's that's the business face. You know, you gotta have that. You gotta have a business. Anytime you're running your own stuff, you gotta have a business mm-hmm. face. And I've got to experience me on both sides. You know, business and then just in friendship. And you know, they're, they're two different people. So I never took anything oh, anyway. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Everything was always okay. This is business. Mm-hmm. You know? Okay, now we cutting up. We're just mm-hmm. drinking sangria. No. <laughs> Now, I got a question because uh, last year, you know, with the pandemic, a lot of people started their own businesses. And we started doing food reviews because there were so many people that didn't have brick and mortar or food trucks that were, you know, just doing plates. Uh, and we're not sure, you know, since the things are going the way they are, if, if uh, people are going to keep it going. But for those that are trying to, because we know a few people that are trying to, you know, still keep their business going, is there anything that you can... Um, Give them a heads up on or, encor- or encouraging uh, that aren't at that five year mark and, and they started their business because it was a passion, but you know, then they, their job stopped, that type of thing. Uh, is there anything like for those that just started out that, that maybe they probably can, don't give up? Don't give up. Don't give keep, up. I mean, keep at it. If, if that's what you're doing, you know, sell the best, do the best. You know, your work tells a lot mm-hmm. on what you're trying to sell or push or, mm-hmm. you know, quality, you know, uh, answer the phone. If you're going to do it, do it, you know, in the hours you say you're going to do it because you're slow, don't give up, you know, right. you know, they, you know, people will notice that you're there trying and, they'll, and they'll give you, you know, to give you a shot. Well, Somebody might come out of the blue and, and be like, you know, we're going to hire you or we're going to give you an opportunity. And there's, you're going to have those days where you're like, why am I doing this? What is this for? But just don't give up. Don't give up. If it's what you want to do, don't give up. Love it. Hold your head up high and keep marching. Mm-hmm. Hold your head up high and keep marching. Mm. All right. Y'all, hey, if you do have a business, you just start to write that one down. Right. Put that on your wall. That's what you need. So, I, I forget that shit sometimes. Okay, you get your paperwork. I'm trying to understand the process. That's the stuff that interests me. So, you get, you know, you told, do you guys like, interview for these things do you bring a plate and here try this like how is the hiring for the movie process? productions yeah for if I was, let's say i had a movie um it's a word of mouth okay it's they've heard from somebody okay. what Ooh. our company can do right somebody That's recommended us somebody said hey you know we work with them on another show they can provide all your meals for you that you need right. the they're easy to work here. with yeah. They're, they're, you know, they don't complain. They're easy to get along with. And mm-hmm. we get a call. We try to negotiate stuff with them. And there is an interview process. They ask mm-hmm. a lot of questions. They they want to know what we can do. How do we handle things? And, okay. what, and, what, and right now, what safety precautions? What safety take? precautions do we have for COVID? Well, you know, uh, mm-hmm. do we have plexiglass? How far? You know, do we do they push vaccines on you guys? They don't, but we are vaccinated. vaccinated. We okay, are. I'm vaccinated. Uh, we are vaccinated. We take a lot of precautions on set. When they're on set, they get tested every other day. Oh wow! They have to wear masks, whether it's hot, cold, whatever. They have to wear a mask on set. Right. Um, before it was a buffet self serve. Now we have crew right. that serves the buffet for them behind a plexiglass. Okay. Um, the, they don't touch it until the very end. Our crew is the only one that touches anything. Right. Um, and then they hand it to them in a in a biodegradable bag with their biodegradable oh, wow. containers. We try yeah. to make um, we live by a biodegradable um, yeah. you know, aspect. Yeah. The less that we can contaminate the ground, the better. Right. right. That's why we live in space. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, right now we're running off of COVID yeah. precautions. And has it affected your business at all? COVID? You know. I would like to say that it has not. I think okay. our business grew right. wow. during COVID. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. We were very blessed that, you know, we were we were able to continue to work. Right. Okay. Wow. It's not an easy world though, because he's on the road a lot. Yeah. 
but we make these sacrifices for our daughters because they are in college and you know we have some that are married that are no longer in college but we've helped all of our kids mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. through college you know and we have one that just became a pharmacist so like i got more kids than i have <laughs> we have one that's <laughs> yeah, at the enough. university <laughs> of alabama okay we have yeah, a nurse at Murray regional yeah, and awesome. one that works for dialysis clinic so all of these sacrifices are for them right right out of fitness <laughs> so I started with four, but uh, four. Yeah, wow, I feel like I, I, I paid yeah, six times. Yeah. 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 She said, Emory says, hi, Papa and Gigi. Hi, so, Emory. You, you, you Gigi? I'm Gigi. Gigi. Oh, oh, Gigi. That would be easy. You never know the streets. We, we Gigi! Don't, yeah. <laughs> we don't have um, blood grandchildren, but we do have adopted grandchildren. Okay. Okay, well, they're still in college. They can wait. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah, time. Finish yeah. school. We got grand dogs. Yeah, grand we have dogs. Drizzy and Biscuit. What, what breed are they? Um, I don't know what Drizzy is, and Biscuit, I think he's a mixture. So mm -hmm. I'm not German exactly Shepherd sure. And, and Border Collie. Collie and uh, Australian Shepherd. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. That's yeah. a very smart dog. <laughs> he said that's a very smart dog. He is. He's like a little human. Wow. See, those are dogs that make me look at them. If it didn't shed so much, I would have had him on the truck, but. Ah, it's not gonna work okay. out. Let me tell you, <laughs> black, black folks don't play animals and food. They don't, they walk up to the truck and be like, <laughs> neither do we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They be like, mm -hmm. but it sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. you know? I'd be like, <laughs> Ooh, got potential. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, got potential. That's always. So. Let me tell you, <laughs> black folks, they will go, they will go as far at a potluck at work to check your Facebook to see if you keep cats on your counter and stuff. Mm -hmm. They do not play with animals. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I mean, I mean, I know why, but I, that's the extent. They'd be like, I've I've been in many, you know, the office, and they'd be like, cat on the counter. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, do don't eat the potato salad. That's from so and so. It's got kitty in it. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be like, y'all petty. Y'all did all that detective work to see if a cat on the counter. And you my, never know. My son's mom just told a lady the other day. Uh, they were on the group call. Lady was like, yeah, I bring food and we all meet in person. She's like, I need you to walk me around your whole house. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to take the computer and walk around the whole house before you bring something. I was like, just let the woman. You ain't got to tell. You ain't got to put it on a plate. Right, <laughs> just right. Just let the woman right. be nice. So a lot of times they just dump the stuff in the crock pot and let it cook over there. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like a car gas and go, right? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So what is some of the... Uh, some of you guys' dishes that really stood out and that you like to prepare. Like, what if I needed to call you guys and I need your specialty? Yes, how special? Uh, you know that mama sauce. Right? Mama mm -hmm. sauce with steak, mm -hmm. chopped up burritos. Carne con chile. Carne con chile. Okay. Um, what, what is carne con chile? It's a uh, beef steak cut up, little diced, bite size bites. And mama sauce cooked slowly, nice and thick. It makes the sauce thick, so you cook the water out of it. Yeah, nice and it's nice and pasty. Mm. Man, I want to make it my mom bar. I went to a wedding one time, they were catering. Because, you know, I, I do photography, and a lot of times they would cater and do the cakes and stuff. And uh, they had this chicken and waffle. And it was like they cut it into finger foods. And the chicken, I don't know what was on the chicken. Wow, but the chicken and waffle good, was so good. I called somebody and I was like, bro, Hispanic folks, they cooking chicken and waffles better than us. <laughs> and I was like, we got, we're going to have to read. We have to read. You know what I mean? We got to read about out. it. We got to talk somebody about gotta it. Somebody got to call Roscoe. Yes. <laughs> and I think that was before I left. But I think after that, I ordered a plate, a pan of it from you guys. Uh -huh. You brought me Oh, he called somebody. Just, he said, bro. I did. I, I, did, I, said, bro, I did not know Spanish folks can fried chicken like this. And you know, Bobby, you know he was still eating it while he yes. called us. Oh, bro, yes. I, I just need to tell you, <laughs> they are killing us right, right now. I'm about to go back and get some more. <laughs> We're supposed to be king of fried chicken here. What's going on? Make some, uh, when, my, when we make ribs, we make a watermelon barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah? What's that? Watermelon barbecue sauce. It's really good. Watermelon. Yeah. Barbecue sauce. Wow, what? <laughs> I'm not supposed to be as excited on camera like this. I mean, right, but what? Yeah, what are you good. talking about? That's a thing? 
Yeah. That's a thing. That's a, already a thing. That's a thing. Or like, did you invent like mama sauce? Or if I Google it, it well, pop well, up. I didn't invent mama sauce. It's my mama's sauce. Well, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the watermelon, you have those moments when you're cooking. I'll be and, damn. Look at that. And you just watermelon barbecue sauce. I've never tried it. It's good. He it makes it real good. Oh wow. Okay. They got different shit, folks. <laughs> right. They got different shit. What? Uh, hey, well, this is amazing. Steak and chimichurri sauce. Uh, Scourge steak. Cut like fajita slice. Mm -hmm. Thin. Mm -hmm. And then uh, chimichurri sauce on top. Mm -hmm. And then it's game on, baby. You be putting people to sleep on the movie set. Right. I'm sure somebody yeah, lost their job because they took a nap. That's what they say. What do you do? I got pictures of people. They say that, too. They're oh, like, um... Somebody was waiting on their scene and they just... How yeah. am I supposed to work like this? How am I supposed to work? They're like, you know, we have to go back to the world. <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine when you guys hit the road, you you uh, they don't put you in, in, in trailers. They put you in uh, hotels and stuff, right? Um, in hotels or houses. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, um, depending on the show, they would just oh, give us a stipend good. to um, find a house for them to stay in a house. It's a lot better for them to stay in a house. They have more of a you know, family feel. They right. don't have to worry about the loud noises. And, right, right. But you know, it just depends on the show and how long it is. And right. Mm -hmm. See, I I thought about, I was like, man, because I used to cook. I was like, man, maybe one day I contact Martin to come cook. And then I thought about, it, I was like, no, because I'm too like business minded in my sense that like I'm gonna see a producer and be like, hey, by the way, we do this show. Da 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 da. Or they're gonna find like demos under their mashed potatoes. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, I could never. I couldn't go both. I'm I'm too much of an opportunist. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah. So and I was I was like, and I know there's a code of professionalism. It is you because know? he has to treat everybody. Yep. The same. Exactly. It could be, you know. I have to treat them like my mom. We would treat yeah. everybody the same. Everybody's getting a car. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know, he can't be starstruck. Yeah. It exactly. has happened. It's happened. But he can't be starstruck. He has to. Was that the to... Was that the Rosario picture? No. No, it wasn't Rosario. No, it Toby was McGuire. Toby McGuire. Toby McGuire, Spider Man. <laughs> she says, I, I saw him turn around and she was talking to him. And she was like, I don't know. Ask him behind you. That guy over there. And they turned around and I'm like, who's she talking about? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I understand, I understand. But what's, and I was like, you, you, you. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then he does, and I said, oh shit, he's feels something. Spider tank, or spider tank girl. <laughs> <laughs> he, was like, he was like, and I was like, oh shit, who's coming? Wow. Yeah, and he comes back to me, he said, do you know who that was? I was like, a guy from the crew. And he's like, he's, and I'm like, I love it. Yeah. That's the best way to try to keep it in with me talking. I said, Easy. so you're <laughs> starstruck right now, and he was. Yeah. I was like, oh my, I go all over that. Wow, man, wow. I think I can't blame me. The star, my starstruck <laughs> moment. I was in Houston, Texas, and it was a, it was a, it was a award, the Ozone Awards. That's a hip hop rap award show. And I was out there doing some film work, and I stepped outside. And you know, in the city, you just kind of peripheral see people you don't really like. Down here, you can turn and look at somebody, and they're not gonna get mad. You just peripheral see them. And I'm smoking a cigarette, and I hear them talk. And it was Big Boy from Outkast that snuck around the same spot, him and two of his homies, and they're smoking a cigarette. And I was like, and I turned my camera on. And I was, Hey man, can I get a shout out to Studio 65? Yeah. And he was like, oh, this is Sir Lucia's left foot. Or whatever, you yes, know what I mean? Sir Lucia's left foot. Yeah, and he yeah. did it, but I was starstruck then too. But That's scary, right? Yeah, yeah, in a way, yeah. It's a it's an energy that yeah. flows. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can oh. feel this energy with a lot of these people. You're like, who? It's like, a different type of confidence. Yeah. yeah. It's like they know. Yeah, I know, I know. I hung upside down from a wet. But can I get an enchilada? Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> Especially when they say those are the best chilaquiles I've ever had right. or those are the oh. best. You know, I've been on a lot. I've had a lot of people cater to me, but what you just made for me is, right. you know, yes. it's it's an amazing yes. feeling. I don't get that a lot because I'm not on the road, but he right. gets it That is hard. So, so, have you ever had Captain Crunch French Toast? Captain Crunch French Cap Toast? Yeah. No. Have you? Have you? No, I have not. not. I'll, I'll make you guys some. Oh, nice. 
The French yeah, toast made a cat and French. I, I don't know what We're that experimenting. Right. And Isn't that the best thing? Yeah. Experimenting is the funnest part. And Marcy was like, Dad, you know what you should do? And I said, what? She said, the chicken, but not the waffle, but with the Captain Crunch French toast. And I'll tell you what, tomorrow on that. Hey. Chick, what, is chicken that. and Captain Crunch French toast? Yeah, instead of chicken and waffles, it's chicken and French toast. Oh, you're done. But Captain oh, Crunch man. French toast. Oh, evil genius, you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ooh, wee. My son was all right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm I, there's so many flavors. I'm trying to imagine it, but I can't even. Uh, no, I'm, it's good. I don't even want to think about it until it's there. Oh. You know what I mean? Because I want to be totally That's surprised. Marcy. That's Marcy. Okay. <laughs> Marcy is on here, too. She says, Drit, was, Drizzy is a, oh, a mixed beagle and boxer. Your dog, oh. Drizzy. Okay. Our grand dog. Grand dog, yeah. yeah. I, I had to talk off camera. I just had to, 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 to say it to somebody else. I'm like, did you hear what he said? Like, so, with you guys, being, it, it's Latin American, American is that like, Good term to use. Okay, do people when they hire you are they expecting Mexican food or do they hire no. you guys for everything? No, we, for we, everything. We cook by this week, and everything's gonna be different. At least two weeks out, so we can't use the same product. Oh wow! Until two weeks after, right. so okay. then we can wow. mix it up. So yeah, the creativity. So is that, is that just because you want to? Do it and give different variety of options because people want gluten free and people want this and like. By contract, we um, say that we're gonna have three different entrees per day, and we're gonna have veggies, and we're gonna have salad, and we're gonna dessert. have a bread option and a oh, dessert right. option. And mix fresh waters or. So for, water. So water. they do like an American food day. They do like a Genius, right? Mexican oh, it's, day, it's, Asian day, buy it. they're gonna buy it. Oh, pasta right. day. Well, yeah, I'll take you. Cool. Look what I got. You got the hell out of it for life. Right? It's four dollars a bottle, but it's worth it. <laughs> Catch it on eBay. Somebody auctioned in their diet water. Shout out by case. Yeah, yeah by the case. You know what though? If he serves enough mama sauce to enough celebrities, we could probably auction some mama sauce off to some celebrities for some big money. Yeah. Like, oh, you yeah. remember? You remember this, Toby? Yeah. You know what I mean? You remember this? <laughs> you remember this? We hey, we'll let it go for. What? Six thousand. <laughs> right now, no questions asked. Right, oh, last one. Right, last, that's last one. That's what I'm talking about. Good time. He came here yes, perfectly. Yes. Six thousand. Last one. Yeah, that's, that's what, last what I'm one. talking about. Going once, going twice. <laughs> so, like the, the man in the spider outfit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that one. That one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's so great. All right, so. The organization has to go into a dish that means a two week period in between. Like, so do you get all the food beforehand and when y'all go out, or are you restocking as? Because movies take what a, a year sometimes, six uh, months. Six months. We take. We can hold three days of food at a time. At a time, and then we order another three days, and it comes. So everything is just um, stays revolving. Wow, what a process. Get, uh, blueberries, and, and strawberries, and blueberries. blackberries, right. uh, raspberries, watermelons, cantaloupes, uh, honeydews, um, passion fruit, dragon fruit, dragon fruit, um, apples, bananas. Every day we have bananas and apples. Yeah. Every day we have oatmeal, grits, mm -hmm. uh, hash browns. Mm. We hash browns, hash brown casserole, egg frittata. Uh, so how long do you tray? Like you don't have a break during the day, huh? Like between? Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Man, they have slow time. moments, but not breaks. We have uh, five hour, five hours in between breakfast and lunch. Okay. Okay. Because I was just, I was amazed. You're like, when so are you going to get a chance when somebody's not coming up and asking? For something? If we serve at five o'clock in the morning, we're up at twelve. Okay. And especially if we have to move locations or go get the trucks then set up. Mm -hmm. So it gives us three hours to set up, get everything going, nice. heat up everything, biscuits, gravy, nice. you know, everything. Wow. And set it all up and then tear it all down and move again for lunch. Wow. Wow. 
I didn't we, think about that. They will move locations for a scene. Oh, yeah. This so last show, we ready to. Wow. This last show, they called it the 108 moves because we moved 108 times. In a six month period. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's right. That's that's. But you know what? I imagine it doesn't get old though. No, it can't get old. Yeah, yeah, it can't get old. I was just combining everything. Like we're moving 108 times. We got to order food three days at a time, and we, we got two weeks before we can bring this dish back in. But then we got to make sure that that dude. And then when the food, food, food doesn't get there the way we want it, or we're short. What do we do? Oh shit! Yeah, right, man. Right. Uh, or even if the order just comes and got bad food, I'm sure that's how it happens yes. more too. It's, so, look, this real day gotta be your your passion because I can see me just phoning it in. Here's an orange and some funyuns. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we gonna get this KFC. Just, the fam, we need six family packs. We need six family packs right now. Right now, stack By twelve. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and the it, you know I was super eight. It was it's by hundred people. Or five five hundred extras and two hundred and seventy crew. Oh wow. Damn. And then this last oh, show wow. we did two hundred and fifty people and sometimes two hundred extras. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's a lot. And that's normally lot. they don't have that's a lot. they have a crew that's helping. A right now what they have a ten percent crew because of COVID regulations we had to have a lot more people. Mm -hmm. Because we have to serve the food, but normally they have five or six. And we set up two different food. lines, two different that way. Everybody's not all in one tent. Yeah. So yeah, just imagine double sided line, double sided line. Man. Wow. And, and and on the road, uh, like you, you said, you don't usually be on the road, mm -hmm. right? So on the road, you're just watching over the the whole operation. Of man, we got a grill, a pull behind grill, you know. I'd be stressed out, man. I'd, I'd, I'd be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> In no when, way. I met, when I met him, <laughs> yeah, five no years hair. ago, he didn't have gray hair. Uh -huh. Or no hair. I was shaving it. Yeah, yeah. I just got to let it grow. I ain't worried about it anymore. Just he had a taper fade when I met you. I think, like a low, a low on top fade on the side. It was taper fade. Yeah, yeah. man. Wow. Very Plus, impressive. Though, he has a lot of support on the road. Very oh, impressive. I imagine. I can to be able to just pull it off with ten people, like there has to be a unit. There has to be some some camaraderie. You know what I mean? Good chemistry. We're like the superhero fan uh, you know, friends. We all fly <laughs> in and we're like, What do you do? I don't know, what do you do? I don't do shit, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I run and get the food, yeah. You know? <laughs> That's the, uh, the super friends. Meanwhile, at M and M Plus, <laughs> back at headquarters. Back at headquarters. <laughs> Maria's answering phone calls. Yeah. Back at headquarters. Mm. <laughs> How Spider Man? Meanwhile, <laughs> Meanwhile, the super friends are. Yeah, our prepared. water didn't get delivered. Okay, our propane didn't come. Oh. Hey, they just sent us three cases of fat beef. Or oh. Oh, we got, we're making taco meat uh, for Taco Day, or we're making meat uh, meat sauce for uh, Pasta Day. Mm. Uh, yeah. And now you got three packs of bad meat. Or they send us a little bit. We asked for three cases. No, we got three logs. What the fuck are we going to do? That's for us. Like, right, right. This, this is, is our personal, personal order. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Is there Kroger? What, if we, what do we find? You buy out Kroger. You buy out food. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. You buy who's out who's your runner? Who, I know there's somebody you said that's a runner. Who's the runner? We have everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, yeah. you, you can't send everybody. Like, I don't send Brandon as a runner. No. Brandon will get sidetracked yes. in a heartbeat. Yes. So you're not the runner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a gopher. Yeah. yeah. Talk about. Oh, Sidetrack. Right. Um, There's yeah. times I will call the head place and see if they can bring it to the front of the store. You know, look, I need this now. Because he'll come mm -hmm. back with, look what I bought. This is cool. Where's the beef you went to go buy? That's <laughs> me. Oh, it's beef? so nice to meet you. That's me too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's eat it beef. This candle smells fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Bro I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'll forget completely what I was supposed to go to the store for and call him. Not mention what I'm at the store for and be like, hey man, they got this other thing and this is great. Hey, have you ever seen a hole punch with a grip on that mug? Right, right. It's an automatic. You just breath. I've been testing out the last 10 minutes. Right. Where is the toner? That yeah. is why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, I get scared that he's going to go out, go for ink, let's say ink. He's going to go out for some printer ink, get sidetracked, leave, go visit some other folks. You know what I mean? Like, I was on this side of town, so I just came to see him. So I got, I called and checked. Hey, what are you doing? Yes. So, Sergio I mean, said hello. What? So, Sergio. Yeah, he coming down next week. So. All right. Yes, yes. So, um, let me see where we're at. You had any other questions? Uh, with the with the, the the movies and everything, are y'all gonna get more into like from from seeing you know being on the set and everything and seeing how that works? Are you, do you think in like later years or whatever that you'll get more into the movies or the TV shows, the like behind the scenes with that or production or that type of thing? Or do you feel like like the the contracts? Because that's a hell of a genius like niche market that you got. Right. But like the dope sick and, and everything, do you think that you might come across something and you're like, you know what? I want to get more into that. I want to get you want to branch in the film or are you going to stay in the food? Um, food. Food. We will always stay into food. That's Martin's passion. Right. I don't food. think he would ever be happy not cooking for somebody. Okay. All right. You got any dishes you hate to cook? Like when you hear it, you're just like, are you like, oh, I'm just legit cake. I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? He's not the biggest baker, but he bakes. If y'all need a baker on the, the, the come with you, my mom retires in October. Yes, she, she can bake. Can bake. Yes. Bake. Y'all need Man. somebody to roll with y'all. Uh, she's a traveler. Yeah. Yeah. And that was, yeah. I believe she would, that would be like a dream for her. Though. Yes. yes, yes. Like, but I'm trying to, you look, y'all need some bacon, <laughs> 700 people? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what did I get that day? Um, you tried a few things. I did. One was a. Cinnamon, what was it, a honey bun? No, what was it? it was a honey bun cake and a cinnamon bun cake. Yeah. You tried both of those. Yeah, they were yeah. real good. Do you get any? I do not. No, no. Yeah, right. No. Hey, you I, got a sweet tooth? Are you a sweet tooth? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. We will definitely get them some, man. Yep, I, yeah, I got you. I got, man, that stuff's so good. I, I keep asking when she put cocaine and crack with this. <laughs> it don't make sense. You know, man, so you're not supposed to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning like, man, I want some honey bun cake. <laughs> My boy Dwayne, he was, uh, uh, I was out at a restaurant. He was, uh, at first, he was like, man, I got a sweet tooth. He's like, but, you know, I don't know. We just don't. Right. It's not happening here. What do, right. And I said, I bet. He's like, what are you going to do? So I went and got Oreos and made some fried Oreos. Oh, oh my God. Had the crunch French toast. Oh. And, then, and I said, he's like, no syrup? I said, you don't need syrup. Try it. And he tried it and he's like, you're talking about with us. Man. I think that's one of the funnest parts of a kitchen jobs. A fried banana. I never had a fried banana. Oh, man. But I know you can kidnap me with a fried Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> you can get me in a white van in the front door. Right here. <laughs> while, just while, making, while making all, all the dishes. To get to you can right. get me with a fried door. <laughs> so if the government ever wanted to, uh, want to get me. <laughs> tell you, one, of, one of the little dishes I make, I'm not anywhere on the cook level you guys are, but I, I, I experiment. And I do a, uh, a collard green omelet. It's got collard greens and kielbasa sausage. Sriracha on top, it is fabulous. If you ever get a cheat, you got leftover collard greens from the dinner before, make your collard green out. Fabulous. They're a fabulous thing. I had uh, Tommy Jones or cooking an omelet for him. And the girl. Tommy Lee Jones? All right, go ahead. Oh, go. man, my Look, God. he didn't catch it either. I had a, I was like, he, huh. We were cooking an omelet for him, and the girl walked away, but she just stepped to the side and he walked around the line. Started cooking his own, and she was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I'm like, "You know who that is? Yeah, right. Let yeah. him give him a spatula. Yeah, yeah, give him a spatula." I was like, "Let me take a picture." Yeah, uh, that's uh, so cool. He just walked around, and he seems like the type of guy that will walk around and be like, "Yeah." Uh, 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 at that age, that man knows what he likes and how he likes. How he it. likes it. Yeah, that he, was, he's uh, got this down back. Yeah, that was in. Uh, that's so cool. Hope Springs. Hope Springs. That's Meryl Street. Have you ever thought about uh, going more YouTube with it, doing like cooking shows uh, on YouTube or having a YouTube channel chronicling? No. You know, no, you really can't do that. NDA and stuff. Actually, yes, I do. Um, yeah, I can. We actually had um, 
a company co contact us to do a, a reality show yeah. on our on our business, our food truck and stuff, but we can't because, because yeah. of what we do and yeah. because you know Man. we're on set and stuff. And yeah. but um, we did and they were, they were that, all that, about us. They wanted to. Yeah, because that seems like it's because it's such a once again it's such a genius niche thing to where it's like it's perfect it's yeah. you got to switch up the meals you got to the, the prep is different the location is different it's always something to film you yeah. know what I mean? did you know i saved 20 percent of my car insurance <laughs> now that, that is one thing before we get to the end here i imagine the amount of insurance and like bonding you have to carry is pretty high for this it is. you know it is. people don't consider that i didn't this whole time yeah yeah later insurance but so we have a lot, a lot of insurance. We have a, a lot. Million dollar policy. We have a lot. Yeah. I'm talking about yeah. so, I mean, they got a hundred and twenty thousand dollar food truck. They got three three vehicles on the convoy. Yes. Then the the employees alone. You got to cover the employees because not only are you on the road, you're in the kitchen. Yeah. Ah. Ah. And there is below or something. Ah. No one fall I'm ever. I have blown myself up on the kitchen. How did you do that? Not listening protocol. Oh, I, so they wanted nice. to do things really quickly, and I learned. Yeah. Okay. Twice. Were you Twice. Okay? Were I mean, you fine. didn't okay. learn. You didn't learn the first time. Told you once. Told you twice. <laughs> but we got through the day. Yeah. That's good. That's good. We made it happen. Yeah. That first time, did you see the difference in his reaction? The first time. Oh my God, baby, are you okay? He wasn't there. We oh. Were running to locations and. Oh. Uh, okay. I had it. Real, I didn't have the experience, but we did it. in the back, like by the second time. Oh, get out! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like um, you know. Okay, we got two events. You're gonna run one out of a tent. Maria, you take the truck. I've never driven this truck before. Oh. Uh, uh, right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Wow. Yeah, and he's like, so what are we gonna do? I don't know. We're gonna get through it. <laughs> We're gonna make it happen. They're all toasties. Oh, your eyebrows. Did. did you burn your eyebrows off? Yeah, my arms. Everything. Oh, oh man. man. But you know what? I couldn't stop to be like, oh, what happened? Right. Good we had people waiting. Yep. yep. You got to eat. With food trucks, that is. Y'all gotta wait. I gotta put this cocoa butter on. Y'all don't understand. Nobody got to know this pencil out real quick. Y'all yeah. 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 don't understand what is happening in this kitchen. Where's wait the Sharpie? Where's the Sharpie? Yeah. Yeah. Where's the Sharpie? Yeah. And people don't like with food trucks. Timing, especially when you're outside of a business, serving employees that are on lunch breaks, like timing is everything. You know, you have got to be able to have that out in yeah. a good time. But that's, that's what kills, I feel like kills most. There was a particular one we used to, when we were up there, that we all knew we had to order on our phones before we got down. You know, people tell us, why do you have six people working? That's too many. I run my food truck with two. You also can't serve 100 people in an hour like we can. Right, mm -hmm. right. You also have people waiting an hour just sure. to order right and our people are already eating they're gone they're right. in the window so yeah it's going to cost us a little bit more right. to run our truck but, but everybody's also, happy nobody's like oh we're waiting for and an we hour. have that it's customer service right. which nobody says that but and then you they, know they, they say they know and they talk and they say oh man we can get this and be back in in our 30 minutes you know what i'm saying yeah. or my yeah. hour i can have this eaten they talk because we we used to you know what i mean i'm sure working there really Prep what we could and couldn't do. Right. We, I know all about food trucks because, excuse me, where we worked, constant food trucks. I knew about the ones. I, I, I'm like, I'm not even wasting. Yeah, time. We're not, we can't eat with them because we're not gonna get our food in time. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. I would pass by and I like, look at the line. Yeah. Look at the line. Cause he knew the money was there. Oh yeah. So it was just like, can we do it? We don't know how to do it. But I saw the line, baby. Can like, we I'll do it? Look, <laughs> on the other side, I'll just. You know, hey, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not telling her to go, but you know, they're gonna see and yeah, and just take that. Yeah. Take that job. My idea yeah. for a food truck, you can have it if you want. My idea for a food truck was potato, potato, and it was gonna be like a Subway style loaded potatoes. You cook all the potatoes, pretty good. You could potatoes hold more than a day if you need them to, and. You just had a buffet of things. They order at this window. We walk down. You want this, 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 and the potato. Out the door on the next window. The next. Nothing on our food truck was ever pre-cooked. 
Really? Everything was made to order. Oh, wow. That's wow. And you could impressive. taste the freshness. People always told us that. Right. You could wow. taste the wow. freshness. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah, yeah, they would do a, a hundred people in an hour and get them in and out yeah. and still be able to break it down and move to the next location and set up. Right. And then cook fresh again. Yo, you guys are getting cool points through the roof right now. Right. Golly. Bacon wrapped hot dog. With Bacon wrapped hot dog. Fresh onion, tomato, and jalapeno, mayonnaise, and mustard. Now, would you, if you do a bacon wrap hot dog. fucking me up. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, would you drop that in the fryer, or do you do it's that grilled. on a flat? Oh, it's grilled on a flat. Okay. Or a barbecue or a grill. Barbecue. Oh, barbecue. We oh, do have yeah. a charbroiler now on our truck. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. It's good. So, if someone is interested in your services, what's the best way to contact you? Have a card. Um, they can contact us through Facebook, they can, uh, M&M Plus Catering, Ooh. Instagram. Um, they can email us at m and plus, um, no, m and at gmail.com. That's M-A-N-D-M validus at gmail.com. They can go on our website, m and plus.org, and there's a contact, contact us button through there. Uh -huh. um, they can call my name, Sal, which um, is also on our Facebook page. We have a business number on there, 931-505-3182. Nice. We answer 24-7, pretty much. Awesome. Look, there you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Close up. So there's lots of ways to contact us. There we us. go. There we go. Boom. <laughs> One day we're going to hire a production guy. Like I do production on other people's shows. <laughs> we're going to hire a production I can't do both. Yeah. I can't do both. <laughs> Y'all understand. Yeah. So. And even though Martin is on the road, we still do have our um, catering division here. And right. Our custom cakes division here. Awesome. Nice. What, what is that? What is so, alright, so it's 10 people on the road. How many people are here doing the custom cakes? And we have about seven people here. Oh, my. Oh, my. What are you looking at? Tell Steak. Me. Steak. Oh, nice. Brisket. Oh, that's fabulous. Turn around and look. Turn around and look. Them brontosaurus steaks. <laughs> that's what those are. Them brontosaurus steaks. It gets valid. I, I feel like it. They time travel to get those steaks and bring them back. For Man, us. just for us. Just for just us. us. Y'all got to. Um, oh, we'll yeah. post this stuff. Yeah, because we'll if, if I show you, it's not going to be it's real. Not gonna be You're not going to be able to smell it. Right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, it's a real deal. So, oh yeah, y'all got to bring a food truck back. Oh, yeah. You got to bring yeah. a food truck back. I, I mean, I, I love that y'all are national, about the international and everything. We please will. for us to still here in old nine three one. Yes. <laughs> this man said Cabin Crunch, French toast, watermelon barbecue, and bacon wrap hot dogs. Where yes. the hell? <sighs> Paco, I know. I know I talk about this exercise. <laughs> you ready to eat? Bro, the hell? What are we running for? Right. <laughs> hey, man. You run in circles. Right. Man, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to run to that plate. What the hell? It's time to eat, man. It's time to eat. It's time to eat. I want to thank you guys. And they brought, and they brought wings. wings. I got wings right over there. Y'all don't, yeah, don't understand. Y'all don't understand how much I love y'all. Because I didn't get up once this time and go get me another wing. Go get one. Go get one. Thank you. There you go. Just let them know. What time are you going to fall? <laughs> You're in a spaceship. <laughs> Oh no, this is just another room in the spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we cool. We cool. Yeah, I was in a West yeah. Wing. We got, the wing. we got the wings. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, but thank you guys for, for coming out. Thank you guys for sharing your business experience, your yes. family, opening the doors. To just, you know, I just felt like it was a good opportunity for people in the area to know who didn't know. A lot of people do know, but those who don't know, to know about your presence, know we have greatness in the area, you know, and just greatness, even, greatness. Uh, <laughs> oh, so um, anything, any advice you want to give to anybody in in the food business that's trying to don't quit. Yeah, they said don't quit. Stay focused. Yeah. Step your recipes up. This man is killing it. <laughs> I think people, I think people just need to do their homework on a proper way. There's so many foods that are prepared incorrect because they look at something and think they know what's in it just by know? looking at it just by looking at it that might spill sauce on my phone and then, and then you got the other guy saying yeah that's good 
But she doesn't know because he goes to Taco Bell. Right. Yes, exactly what I'm saying. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah, people that don't don't fry their corn to tea at all. Or don't all. season them. Right. Yes. Like, that blows my mind. You know what I mean? Like, if I go to a Mexican restaurant and I get that corn to a tea straight out of the bag, I'd be like... Or it has, you know, or just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, what, what have we got going on here? And, uh, I brushed the cookies one time, uh -huh. and same movie, uh, Tommy Jones, he got a cookie, and they were still, I brushed them, they were soft and right. you know, hot, and he grabbed the cookie, and it welted on his finger, and he said, the cookie just bit me. <laughs> <laughs> and I walked away, and I'm like, oh. oh, oh, you flubbed it with Tommy Lee, at least he didn't put it on Instagram, right? right. right. He could took a picture and put it on Instagram, my limp cookie. <laughs> we watching him, he got it, and went, um, mm. But there's those type of things that keep you up at night. You know, like, <laughs> like I let him cool right. just a little bit before I throw them all together. Man, yeah. he said my cookie just bit me and walked away. <laughs> 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 you know you could pick up another cookie, Tommy. Right. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> the other one was cold. Wow, wow. But um. Anything you'd like to say to any um, people view them before we go? Thank you, Studio 65. Ooh, ooh. Captain is a uh, mentor over here. <laughs> ha! I'm the mentor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha -ha! Yeah. You heard it! <laughs> Not, uh, promotion. <laughs> yes, thank you for having us. Oh, thank you for time. sharing your ship with us. Thank you for coming up to the mothership, letting us abduct you for a little bit. Right. For the cool shirts. We love you. Bob is a man. Thank you very much, Bob. Man, you live, in, you live in my dream through food. Brother, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. Nice I, you. I look forward to seeing you again. I just spilled sauce all on the table. This food is delicious. Maybe one day we'll uh, we'll come out if you guys are doing Live something. barbecue here yeah. at the... Well, what yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wherever you guys are, we'll come out. We'll film on set and... You know, not on set, like on your, you know, yeah, where yeah. you are. And we'll just come out and kind of show the business and show the And we'll do a food yeah. review on great. location, you know? I'm going to start a food review now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, thanks, everybody, for checking us out. Um, thanks for tuning in. Share, subscribe, all of that, you know? All of that. Hey, make sure you uh, you stay tuned into the page. We're gonna be posting a video of this delicious brontosaurus steak. This this steak so big it look like they cut it off a rhino. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but make sure you stay tuned into all things who that uh, the podcast, the YouTube channel, the Twitter, the Instagram, everything. We got a lot of stuff going on, and the updates will be coming out. So we want to make sure that all of you know as soon as they come out. So make sure that you are tapped in. Other than that, stay blessed, don't stress, life is just a test. Who that? <laughs> that shit was so good. You're now rocking with DJ. Who that? There's nothing wrong. It's gotta be my imagination. I like it's in the face. You have like in the face. Like DJ Skinny. They not for right. Let's go. my introduction they say greatness doesn't come overnight so i'm not rushing spaced out swag best